This is John Shelby Spawn with news of scandal in the Bible. Tonight we present a special bulletin about that evil, wicked, nasty, stupid Apostle Paul. Scuttlebutt says that he was a repressed homosexual. And I have proof. Look at 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 10. Clearly this thorn in the flesh, Paul refers to, must have something to do with repressed sexual desire of forbidden nature. How about that, huh? <laughs> nice try, John. But that's not what real scholars say. There's a few ideas about what this thorn actually was. But I think the most reasonable contextual explanation is that it has to do with Paul's lack of ability as a public speaker. You see, the word used by Paul has the meaning both of thorn and stake. And throughout the Corinthian correspondence, Paul has been addressing the matter of his lack of competence as an orator. Rhetorical skill was often linked to spiritual power in his world. Aristotle's work on rhetoric used the metaphor of an orator carrying a stake as one who makes his speech stiffly as if he had swallowed a ruler. So I'd say Paul has used an expression of significance in that his thorn of the flesh is his inability to speak well rhetorically, as something that stands in his way. So, nice try. Oh, by the way, Scuttlebutt says that you wear my little pony bikini underoos. Is that true? What? Certainly not. And I...